Today I'd like to announce that NACO for Game Objects, NGO 1.00, Unity Transport 1.00, and Multiplayer Tools 1.00 are now available and can be integrated with the new multiplayer solutions from Unity Game Services, including Game Server Hosting, Multiplay, Matchmaker, Lobby, and Relay. And there's also a variety of great examples from small multiplayer games to larger multiplayer games available in GitHub. Like every other tool in Unity or any other engine, there isn't really a solution that will work with all game sizes, which is why there are different options to consider when deciding what multiplayer stack to use today. Let's dig deeper into some of these options. So NECA for Game Objects, NGO, it's great for creating small scale cooperative games, peer to peer games that work great with Relay, which connects players around the world and lobby to empower players to play together. And NGO in its core adds networking capabilities to game objects and mono behavior workflows. More in-depth capabilities in NGO include a network manager, which is basically a central hub for all netcode settings. Network objects basically allows you to sync objects over the network. A network transform, which allows you to sync object transforms in real time, unlike the network object, which basically just happens when it is spawned. Network Animator to sync animations, Network Rigid Body to sync physics which are set to kinematic, to peers and simulated on the server. If you want to sync variables, you can also use Network Variable which is basically going to allow you to sync that information over the network. A messaging system is also available which is going to allow you to execute remote procedure calls which basically means that you can execute methods either on the server side or on the client side. There's also serialization of C-sharp primitive, Unity's primitive, enum types, and it can be extended by using the iNetwork serializable interface. There's also object spawning and object pooling is available, sync management, Unity transport package is also available, UTP, and there's also additional features that I'm gonna be covering as well. In addition to NGO, NECO for Entity is currently in development in place at the end of the multiplayer features roadmap. And it is meant to handle scalable multiplayer worlds with more ambitious and large scale games. Multiplayer games are complex. The logic, the thinking behind it from a game developer or architect point of view is beyond a single player game. With that, Unity is providing multiplayer tools which aims to help in finding potential issues during multiplayer game development. Some of these tools are Runtime Network Stats Monitor, which works with NGO, which tracks network variables, RPC calls across the server, and connected clients during game tests and in standalone builds. A network profiler that also works with NGO, which allows you to see a detailed breakdown of the network objects and messages sent across the connected players. A debug simulator, which works with a Unity Transport UTP, included as part of the package for UTP Transport. It allows you to manipulate the network variables and simulate advanced networking scenarios for testing purposes. For larger scale multiplayer requirements, take a look at the Photon Fusion plus Unity Game Server Hosting Multiplayer, which is designed to consume less CPU, less bandwidth, and it helps developers operate at 60 hertz stick rate and up to 200 players. Keep in mind that Unity currently allows up to 80 players, but you can basically contact Unity and they can change that to be up to 200 players. This solution also offers AAA features such as player prediction and lag compensation. To get an idea of the photo solution with Unity Game Server Hosting, you must take a look at the advanced Battle Royale example with features, deathmatch, elimination, and Battle Royale gameplay modes. Advanced weapon systems are also available such as projectile, heat scan, throwables, Projectile systems are kinematic, you can also use ballistic arrow and piercing projectiles. Pickups are also available such as static M1 health, dynamic drops on kill, there's also a shrinking area which is really cool, damage area and moving platforms. There's also recoil patterns, input recoil compensation, and also a really cool jetpack, which I had a lot of fun playing with my son. And it basically provides advanced kinematic and character controller example. This photon example is integrated with Unity Game Server hosting multiplayer using client server topology and matchmaker. To get an idea on pricing, you can use most of the Unity features completely for free, including lobby, 
Unity, Relay, Matchmaking, and the Unity Game Server hosting is currently available with $800, which is valid for six months from the time that you guys sign up. For more advanced multiplayer use cases, you need to get a Fusion Photon Server, which you can get for free until you pass the following limits. The Photon Free version offers 20 CCU, which as a rule of thumb is one CCU is estimated to be 20 active users, but they have additional plans to fit your production requirements. To get started with Netcode for game objects today, be sure to check out my tutorials in the multiplayer with Netcode for game objects, where I cover the core networking components of NGO, and I will be updating some of these videos to use version 1.00 in the next few weeks. If you guys have additional questions about everything that I just mentioned today for the multiplayer features with Unity, please let me know in the comments, and I'm gonna be linking the couple examples that are available in GitHub that you guys can download and start testing and learning multiplayer. Thank you very much, guys.